Hello, Virgo, and welcome back to my channel. Whether you are a Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, these messages are for you. And today I'm going to be channeling messages focusing on your no contact ex. How does your ex secretly feel towards you? But before I begin, for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Lexa Tarot, and I am a second degree Reiki practitioner, as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. And I want to start off by saying thank you to you, my subscribers, my new viewers and visitors alike, for your love, your support, and your loyalty to our channel. I greatly appreciate it. As you know, these are all free uh, messages, and the only thing I ask in return is if you could please give me a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget, turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out uh, on my live streams and you don't miss out on new cont content upload. Okay. All right, Virgo. Now, Virgo, these are timeless messages. So whenever you come across them, it is a sign symbol synchronicity from the universe, letting you know that there are or may be messages here for you at this moment in time. Let's take a look, Virgo. How does your uh, ex feel or secretly feel about you? Look at that. Two cards just popped out of the deck on their own. The first card is the Four of Pentacles, okay? The Four of Pentacles, and right behind it is the Three of Swords. Now, they feel here that you are... Either you're a person worth holding on to. There's a sense here of the value here of the relationship. The four of pentacles is kind of like holding on to something. So there could be here for some of you, it's coming out two different uh, messages. Okay. So for your ex, they feel that you are the type of person who really holds on to things that are valuable. Okay. That you are a person who either th that value could be, you know, taking care of your finances, making sure that your security is in check, like the stability is in check in regards to career, in regards to finances. I feel here that there's this sense of just not looking at things super, the superficial value of something that you really like to dig deep and be able to kind of harvest or, cause I'm seeing here a, a squirrel kind of taking the, um, God, what is the thing? The acorns and saving them. So there's a sense of you being resourceful here and being that kind of like that squirrel, being able to, to, you know, accumulate here some sense of wealth, stability, tangible or intangible type of value here to you. Now, what I am also getting here in this reading for you with the four of pentacles and this three of swords is that some of you, they feel that there was a sense of emotional pain, sadness, hurt, separation, breakup or divorce, or some sense of inner turmoil here that you hung on to. Okay, which is the reason that the four of uh, cup, uh, sorry, the four of pentacles is looking at this three of swords is coming across that some of you may have had here some type of emotional pain, hurt, or sadness that really kind of stuck in you. You know, there's like a, a deep sorrow of, of some sort. It could be here from a past uh, situation, circumstance, or event, maybe childhood trauma. For some of you, it could be residual energies from being hurt in a prior connection. Now, for others of you here, this is coming across as you being the type of person who was able to tune in to your ex's pain, to your ex's emotional pain, sadness, hurt, separation, breakup, or divorce that they may have experienced, and you were the type of person who gave them either comfort or gave them that sense of stability here in order for them to grow. Okay, now let's take a look here. What else is coming through? How else does your ex feel about you? King of Cups. There is a sense here of you being calm, cool, and collected. Okay, um, Virgo, maybe your emotions, maybe trying to keep uh, uh, an even keel. They find you or they feel that you are the type of person who is compassionate, who is nurturing, but also the type of person who's not only 
connected to their emotional maturity, but also connected to their intuition. So if something doesn't feel right, if your gut level feeling is giving you this kind of like red flags, like be careful, it's like you're the type of person who would listen to this, okay? And that's how this is coming across. There's a sense of you either not only either showing or being calm, cool, and collected. For some of you, you may come across a little shy or quiet. For others of you, you may not be shy or quiet, but there is a part of you that that is very nurturing, that is compassionate, that you're able to really jump in and help someone, kind of like that type of person who takes their shirt off their back in order to be that solid person for someone else. Last but not least, there is the devil energy here behind the King of Cups. And this is coming across as that there were moments here. First of all, the devil here is a Capricorn energy. So for some of you, there is a sense of either the X being a Capricorn, either in their sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Or there could be here some type of Capricorn energy, maybe connected to your um, astrological chart. Okay, your astrological chart here. But this could also mean that Capricorn was a time or season that is is or was of importance here in this connection. All right. Now, the devil energy is again Capricorn energy, but it's also about attachment. It's also about having a lack of moderation here, having to do with the shadow self, having to do with old patterns of behavior. And that may be here what some of you, and I said this at the top of the reading because this is coming across as this King of Cups and Devil energy coming together and the Four of Pentacles and this Three of Swords coming in together. And there's this sense of, yes, underneath the love, the compassion, underneath your ability to connect emotionally or your ex emotionally with you, there is a sense here of um, kind of like deep rooted sadness here of some sort. Now, whether this deep rooted sadness is connected to you, Virgo, or whether this deep rooted sadness was connected to your ex, but there's this feeling here of being understanding and compassionate of that old pattern of behavior, of those things that were very difficult to moderate, very difficult to kind of find an even keel. For example, drinking, for example, going out, indulging on things that uh, may not be healthy in some way, shape or form. Okay. Now let's take a look here at what else is coming through for you. How does Virgo's acts secretly feel? towards Virgo. This could also be here, Virgo, that you were the person, your love, okay? Your love was what helped your ex when they were going through a very big rough patch here, okay? So the three of swords and the devil card, that your ex may have been a person who was going through either a separation, breakup, or divorce, some type of emotional pain, sadness, hurt, or childhood trauma and you were the person that really put in the work the dedication and the love you know you hung on to this connection or you hung on to this person because you um had the intuitive kind of ability or the in, the the kind of gut level feeling like you can help or that you were in love with this person okay freedom independent self determination so it's interesting because it's right under here, under this four of pentacles energy that I said at the top of the reading that was coming across as you being the type of person who is solid, a person who really holds on to their savings or, or ensures, um, that they are putting their nest egg or building their nest egg. There's a sense of, um, as I said, seeing the, the squirrel taking, um, you know, acorns and putting them aside. So there's this sense of like, harvesting here and that could be here this where this freedom is coming um through okay it's coming through because you are either financially independent you have your own you don't need someone to create or to build like you you've got this and that's the energy here that's coming through you also have here the song of the siren the call the summoning the voice 
to acknowledge. And I feel here that this voice is two things. Number one, that you were the type of person who you voiced your concerns, especially having to do with this devil energy. You were the type of person who really, uh, with love, of course, with love and nurturing care, but you called out your partner. You let them know, listen, you, you need to hold yourself accountable here that although you may be going through some sense of hurt and pain and sadness, and there may be things here that may be a little bit overwhelming and you may have a lack of moderation about that you still, at the end of the day, you need to kind of pay attention to those things because those things are becoming harmful to the connection. Now, this storyline that I just channeled could have been you telling your um, ex this type of storyline, or it could have been here, your ex telling you. So there's this feeling of they helped you either gain or regain your voice, your inner voice, kind of your inner oracle, you know, allowing yourself to really connect with that gut level energy here. For others of you, it's coming across that your ex found you to be uh, a person who was intuitive, that you were able to connect to things. Look at this. Yeah, my, yeah, uh, a, a parent and a child or a mother, or a, a, a mother and a child, or in some cases, you know, a parent and a child here. There's a sense of, um, nurture here. Okay. So they feel that you were either a nurturing, caring, loving person when things were good. Um, or, you know, they were giving you this sense of, uh, love and nurture to you when you were feeling at your worst or when there were these kind of self-sabotaging thoughts or fears or fear-based beliefs or childhood trauma here of, of something here, uh, connected to you. Look at this. What popped out of the deck on its own? I'll take these. My apologies here, Virgo, if this runs a little, um, over, but there are a lot of messages here. So we'll see. Um, I'm definitely seeing this one. Love yourself. Okay. Love yourself first. Again, this is coming yet again. You have one, two, three, about four cards here from three different decks giving that same channeled message. You taking care of yourself. They feel like either there was a situation, circumstance, or event of you either not taking care of yourself and having to pay attention to that, or you being that type of person, giving that type of support or comfort to your ex, letting your ex know, listen, you got to love your first. You got to take care of yourself. Yes, you may have gone through some situation, circumstance, or event, but at the end of the day, there's the sense here of learning to listen to your intuition and learning to do the self-care for yourself because there could be here some type of reckless either habit or reckless type of thinking, self-sabotaging thoughts or fears or depression here, okay? Because this is coming across here like there, there could have been some bout of depression here, okay? Now, behind love yourself first, it says love language, physical touch, a tender touch means so much. Either you were a type of person who showed your love language to be that of touching connecting, whether that's sexually, whether that's in the bedroom, out of the bedroom, but there's a sense here of that passion here. They feel that you were um, a passion, a, a passion, it, a passionate person here. Okay, Virgo, it's coming across that that meant a lot. Love language, gift giving, tokens of re recipro rec recipro reciprocity. There we go, reciprocity. Hold, cherish memories, and some of you were gift givers. You were able to show your love language, whether it was through touch or affection. Others of you here, they feel that your love language was giving. So giving a gift, showing your love, you know, buying a dog, buying a puppy, you know, buying flowers, taking, you know, taking, uh, each other out for a restaurant or something like that, but it's something tangible. Okay. So there were, there were here, uh, um, opportunities here that, that is being felt by your person here in the past. You have weddings. So some of you were married to this person. Others of you here, you were the person they felt that they can marry or marry again. 
okay because of this three of swords here i'm getting that um some of them they may have gone through a separation breakup or divorce that may be you also virgo maybe you went through a breakup separation or divorce here but there's something about you here that this ex feels that you were the type of person that they could have connected with or maybe the person that they married okay so for some of you this is an uh, an ex spouse but there is this sense that they saw a future or they feel that you are the type of person that they could build something with if these two um cards here the three of uh, of of swords and the devil could have been in check now that could have been on their side or they could have been on your side virgo but i'm getting here like these two cards were perhaps the kind of like the 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 last straw here within this connection and it may have caused here this sudden breakup or this um kind of parting of ways here Last but not least, make the effort and you have here, great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So there were here steps that either were done or they feel that you took steps in order to make things better or them make the efforts to make things better here. But for some of you, it's coming across as that there were efforts here to try to remain or save either the marriage, the connection or the partnership here in some way, shape or form but that the feeling here from the ex is that whether it was from their end or yours that these two feelings here these two emotions these two cards here these two energies were the ones that really um kind of tore this um you know either tore this connection apart or created that separation breakup or divorce Virgo, I hope these messages have been insightful. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up to like, share, and subscribe. And I have some more messages down here and up here. Take a look at that and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.